Hello guys. What a beautiful spot. <laughs> I'm between two valleys here on kind of a ridge and uh, it's just absolutely beautiful up here. Mixed woodland, very quiet other than that aeroplane right now. <laughs> I've come out on that Ellie Glide in one pro bike, giving it a bit of a break it in, trying it out. But uh, we'll talk about that later. I've got some interesting news. But uh, this is a wonderful day. A little bit of a breeze, but uh, I'd say a nice night for a camp. Oh, this is a lovely spot. I'm uh, tucked away in this bit of pine forest over here. Bike's just over there on that fire break track thing. But yeah, I think the wind is actually calming slightly, which is nice because I do want to go out there with the tent and sort of have some nice views rather than be tucked away in the trees like I normally am. <laughs> ah. This is a lovely spot. I am definitely going to bring my truck up here and um, use the roof tent. Beautiful to be up even higher and look over the valley down there. <laughs> Now I'm going to collect firewood and maybe get some stuff to make a um, bit of a windbreak for the fire as well before I actually set up because I'm going to have to be leaving the area and stuff. But um, just thought I'd mention the bike that I'm on. It's an Ellie Glide M1 Pro and it's a very accessible, very affordable e-mountain bike I've been trying out. It's not one of these uh, fat, tired ones that I've been using lately. Um, it's a nice bike. I think the thing I like about it the most is it's pretty lightweight compared to a lot of the others, especially if you take the battery off and use it like a normal bike. It is, is very manageable, very easy to put in and out of the truck and stuff like that. Um, I've got the big 29 inch wheels. I thought I'd give them a go, but you can get like the normal 27 inches as well. I just thought these would be nice. You know, I'm probably going to be using this on the road and uh, be nice in a straight line. Maybe not as agile around little corners and stuff, but uh, yeah, good in a straight line for sure. Um, got front suspension, uh, no rear suspension. Like I say, it's uh, a little more budget than some, but uh, very affordable. Um, Going to talk some more about it later, because that's where my news comes in. Some of you may have guessed already. And I get my saw out, it's in my camera bag. <laughs> Couldn't get it on the rear rack there. And um, look for some firewood, there should be plenty about. As you can see behind me there and down in the valley there as well, um, a lot of trees have been coppiced and extracted from here a few years ago now I'd say. And um, I can see remnants of that so there's some nice dry wood logs around. Uh, so yeah, I'll collect some of them I think. I feel it's starting to rain. I think it's going to pass. So I'm not going to go get my jacket out of the uh, saddlebags. <laughs> It's 
is what I mean. There's a lot of leftover stuff like this. I think that's just because it's all pine. Um, some of it's quite rotten, so I have to see what's best. A lot of the wood in there is quite rotten. So I've come out here where you get the wind, it seems a lot more solid. even found some old hardwood which is a lot drier than that um, pine that I've got uh, so I've got a few bits of this just need to cut them down still but I think I'm gonna get set up funny old day one minute it's uh, sunny and beautiful and it's windy with a little bit of rain <laughs> all over the place Going with my Van Gogh Helium today. Such a good little backpacking tent, so light, roomy, easy, quick to put up. I love using it for things like this. And it's got the attached uh, ground sheet as well. Well, she's up on this side it's very hard to peg in I think at some point this track here probably had some stone laid or something so I'm hitting all of that and I can't seem to get around it even putting them at an angle um, so I've put out the side guys because of the wind and that never know just to help it give it some rigidity That's all set up, the pitch is a little bit better now as well. Just used the pump, the mini pump, the Flextail gear one to blow up the um, mat and that's going to be my lantern as well. Pretty lightweight pack for this camp obviously, just the handlebar bag and the, um, and the saddle bags as well, no bag on top of that, um, just my camera bag. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. I think next job is going to be a fire reflector. So right now, no wind, but it keeps picking up from down in the valley there. Well, I've scraped out a lot of the dead bracken and stuff that was here and yeah there's a lot of stones just under the surface really so I think we're going to be okay. Fire reflectors up, just going to process down some of this wood to get the fire going. Jeez. I'm sat on this kind of log that I cut, one of the bigger ones. I wouldn't be able to break it down, I don't think. Oh, I'm happy. Pretty much all my jobs are done. Just stack the wood by the uh, fireplace there. We're all done. Now, I mentioned earlier I had some news. Um, and it's about bikes. <laughs> I've been doing this camping malarkey for over six years now. And I've ate and slept camping it's been everything <laughs> it's all I ever think about what's the next video gonna be what's the next location blah 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 and I've loved it but um, I need something else and um, I've been getting into the e-bikes since last summer when I got f first sent that Fido F1 bike T1 T1 <laughs> I um, I've used a couple and um, just been really enjoying it having something else another excuse to get out um, and not having any pressure with it and I've decided to launch an e-bike channel. The channel is called uh, Kent E-Bikes, of course. <laughs> and um, that channel is live right now. There is at least one video on there right now. I might be launching the second one when this video comes out. Um, so there will be a um, you know card at the end of this video, or there'll be a link to the channel down below. And uh, if you've got any interest in that get over there and subscribe and give it some support and we can get it up and running get some subscribes on there and get some views going now the channel is going to revolve around e-bike reviews um, biking gadgets and stuff I've actually got one with me now that I love 
and um, each e-bike I use I'm going to do like a, um, a test on it, like a um, distance test. So I'll just be riding and riding and riding, maybe going out, maybe cooking up some lunch or something. So there'll be a variety of videos around the subject, maybe even some kind of transure cooking and stuff on them trips. But um, yeah, that's live now, get over there, tell all your friends. <laughs> and that's my kind of, what should we call it, a hobby channel. <laughs> um, yeah, got uh, big plans for that really. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But getting back to the task at hand, I love this spot. It's so nice, it's giving me serious Sweden vibes. The pine over there, we've got birch over there. And it's just so peaceful. Usually I can hear a road everywhere, I can't hear. But I'm loving it. Definitely coming back. <laughs> um, a little while till sunset. So I think I'm gonna chill out, stack the wood and yeah. Light the fire soon. I've put some rocks around the back of the fireplace here just to help not burn the uh, fire reflector. Uh, I've got plenty of kindling and stuff and just using these wood wall fire lighters to get it going. I've got uh, some birch bark that I picked up, some bracken, And a load of twigs. With the fire lit, I think it's time to have one of my two beers. I'm hoping isn't too shaken up. <laughs> We're just approaching uh, sunset, about half hour away, I think. Ooh, it's a little bit, it's not too bad. <laughs> Could have been worse. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Fire seems to be going well. I'm not gonna make it too big. Um, because of the ground here, the bracken and stuff. Chopped up any roots that I could see, and there is stones under there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it quite small. I think next time I come here, I'll bring a fire pit. With the truck. <laughs> I'm not carrying it. That's the sunset, and I'm still loving it. <laughs> Fire's burning away nice, get some good coals. That uh, hardwood, I think it's chestnut, um, will do good. Uh, I've got the fire anchor with me, the fire anchor mini, so I'll get that out in a sec, and um, no big extravagant meals in the uh, pannier bags, <laughs> just burgers and some squashed buns. <laughs> Thank you. 
but I actually had some really nice burgers and I forgot them so I had to buy some on the way Well, they're only small burgers, so they're two double burgers. <laughs> mm. Not bad. I think I used the last of my small ketchups on the last camp in the yard. <laughs> mm. So hungry. That wind is all over the place. It's <laughs> blowing the smoke everywhere. Oh my god. It's not even that strong. I think it's because I put up the fire reflector. <laughs> the irony. Well, that's uh, dinner all done and the fire stoked back up. And my second beer. Ah, loving the peace up here. Still a little bit chilly. I should put my jacket on really. <laughs> Chill out by the fire for a bit. It's a little bit warmer with that fire stoked up and my jacket on. There's a lot of wildlife up here I'm hearing. Because I'm right next to the woodland. Well, right next to two woodlands I guess. Lots of rustling. I did see a deer on the way. The um, action camera might have caught it while I was riding. It ran off as I was riding towards it. Hopefully I got it. Got my hot chocolate and caramel milk. Love this chocolate bar. Chocolate overload before I go to bed. <laughs> mm -mm. Right, it's about that time. Got late quick actually. Tonight went really quickly. It's like pretty much midnight. So I better get some sleep because I kind of want to see the sunrise. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. Sunrise is amazing up here. I woke up about half four, got up about five-ish, but um, I couldn't see the sunrise at first until it came up over the tree, so I milled about for a bit. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Slept so well. Not for long, because it was midnight by the time I went to bed. Didn't even realise. And then I was up early, but uh, slept through. So peaceful. And I found this hat in my uh, jacket pocket. <laughs> Not very bushcrafty though. I feel I'm going to enjoy this for a minute. And then do breakfast because I've woke up with a bit of an appetite. I'm just opening the tent up on both sides. There's a lot of condensation. It did cool down a lot last night. It's quite chilly. So yeah, quite a lot of condensation in there. Get it as dry as I can before I pack it up. I get a stove ready and realise I stashed the bike. <laughs> Confused me for a minute. The old stove out, the David Fryer's pouch. I've got this raspberry toasted muesli with milk for breakfast. It's from a ration pack and it goes off in a couple of months, so I thought I'd get it used up. So I'm just going to stick a bit of milk in there, or water. And the rest of that water will be a cup of tea. And that's all the water done. Looks like there's a lot of uh, seeds and stuff in there as well. God, that sun is bright. <laughs> right, this is edible. Hmm? Nuts. But only because I've added some sugar in. It was horrible <laughs> before that. Hmm. But now it's actually quite nice. Bit of energy. The tent's still a bit damp, but uh, the worst of this off, I'll just have to dry it at home. That's me all packed up, leave no trace of course, and uh, remember, if you want to see a review of this Ellie Glide M1 Pro bike in a couple of weeks, or if you want to see a review of any e-bikes, 
go check out the new channel Kent E-Bikes there'll be a card in a second on the screen or link in the description as I said and uh, yeah I'm gonna get back to this spot soon <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you soon